What is going on guys and I am back with another video. I'm sorry it took so long, but you know I'm a busy guy and I got a lot of stuff to do so I haven't been able to post up But I'm gonna try to change that come out with some daily videos um, Today I am currently um, We have been tuning the Supra um trying to get it on full E85 and uh we weren't having issues we weren't having issues at like 20 psi um but now that I'm pushing a little bit more than 20 psi we're starting to get fuel pressure drops so I'm thinking uh I did change the spark plugs I got to check the gap that was one thing I for that was one thing I forgot to do. Um, so I did order these tools today. Um, actual, you know, gauge and then um, this little neat little tool. It's pretty cool. And then uh, I got this little piece to make it easy to uh, gap them. So I actually need to see if the stock spark plugs actually fit in here. Hopefully it's 14 millimeter threads. Um, I think I got one. It looks like it might. Maybe not. Sorry, guys. This is pretty dirty in here. Um, <laughs> I got my wheels. Um, got my front mount for the WRX. And I got some more tires back there. It's just a huge mess. I have to actually clean this today. But uh, let's see something. Let's see if this actually... This is supposed to have a magnet on it. Oh, yep, it does. So I can actually show you guys. Let's see if this actually, uh, oh, of course, it's too big. The tool's too big, I need to get a smaller one. But we will make this work, and I gotta pull these plugs out first, pull the ones that are in there, and then uh, check the gap on them. Hopefully they're not too big. I think they come factory at 0.28 and we need to go down to 0 0.20 just to make sure that we're not having any misfires or anything like that. So I'll keep you guys updated. So be back shortly. Uh, for those that don't know, it's actually pretty easy to change the spark plugs on here so it's not too hard. Um, you gotta take off these little clips right here for all these and then uh, these little star uh, Torx bits. Um, you gotta have like a little special little bit for it, which I got. I forgot the size. Um, I have that to help. Um, I just have to find the right size, take those out, the coils come out, and then it does require, the spark plugs are um, like a 12 point. They're not normal, so it's BMW, so as it says right there. It's a 12 point socket for the spark plugs, so I'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty, so spark plugs are out. Um, for those that are wondering, it's a E8 Torx bit. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not. Probably not. But the little spark plug in there has a. Uh, it's a special type. It has uh, 12 points instead of just six. So, so I had actually ordered this on Amazon. 14 mil it just has the 12 points instead of just six little magnetic thing at the top works pretty well has a little swivel too so just in case it has to go in at a certain angle works out just fine all right guys so went through all the spark plugs and uh, checked them they all looked good but one only one was pretty bad all of them were preset to point uh, 028 and they need to be at 0 0.20 so I finally recapped them all but take a look at this guys one of my cylinders I think it was cylinder 5 was having this weird uh, timing correction um, while going to the track and I figured out why alright look at this it actually moves <laughs> Not sure if you guys can uh, see properly, but <laughs> that part moves, so it would cover up the spark. Um, I guess that's what was causing the issue. 
So, um, I finally, I, what I did was, and I had to, to place an order for the one step holder. So I just put one of the stalkers back in and I just regapped it to 0 0.020. I am hoping that that, uh, that helps. Um, I know the gap will definitely help um, now that we're starting to kind of get past that 20 PSI barrier, um, 22 actually barrier. And um, so I regapped them all with the, you know, help with these tools that I got off of Amazon. And uh, now it's time to put the coils back in and test it out. Gotta make sure that uh, everything starts up right. Make sure everything's good, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's see. so I can't log it at the current moment. The check engine lights probably for something stupid, um, but it seems to start up fine and everything's good. So I was actually supposed to uh, go out and do a couple pulls, but it looks like it is starting to rain, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Um, I was also supposed to do a video of what's done to the car and just a car update for you guys but i just can't do it right now because it just started raining all right so i can show you a little brief of the interior since it stopped since it's starting to rain um i do have the new racing seats in here um with the harnesses with the five point harness and then uh I do have that little bottle back there, guys, but I have yet to use it. I have not used the bottle yet. Um, I actually have the, I actually have everything wired right here, the little switch, and then I have the big black button. I haven't used it at the track. But I did, however, use it on my way home one day, and it was pretty nuts. I mean, the car already puts you in, the, in, you know, in the back of the seat, you know, when it goes. So I put it in like, I think I had it in like fourth gear, um, just like I was doing a regular watt pull, just to see what would happen. And I started it at 25, and yo boost hit and i was already in the back of the seat and then as soon as it got to like 5k yo i hit that button and yo it was like i was pinned to the seat like i i've never used nitrous i've never been in a nitrous car and i'm just like yo that's some awesome shit like it was it was pretty crazy so um i just haven't used it at the track yet the cars the car so far um just has a down pipe and an e uh, E30 tune, E40 tune, you know, I'm still doing a little bit of testing on that, but the the car is doing 10.8 at 127 right now. I would say the car is doing pretty good. There's still small things that we're working out. We're adding new tables to the tuning stuff, uh, tuning side of things to allow us um, to run more than 22 PSI. Um, that 10.8 was actually only at 21 straight across. Um, I've been doing testing with it above that, but we're just working out little, you know, here's, you know, just little, little issues that are popping up when running more than 22 PSI. I think on that 10.8, I got, uh, I spiked at 23 PSI tapering down to about 20 by red line. Um, I just need to get that to hold out. Um, I know that these cars can do 10.5, 10.6, so I still got a little bit more to go, but I should be able to get there shortly. Um, there is no track all this week, so it kind of sucks. You know, all I can do is just do testing this week. Thanks for watching the video. If you did, if you have any questions, just please um, hit the like button, ask in the comment section. I'll answer them back, and peace out, guys.